Hi guys and welcome back. This is Webonix with a Let's Play series for The Surge 2 Part 45. We're playing on PlayStation 4. If you're enjoying this content, then please feel free to like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring that notification bell. Hope you enjoy this video. Let's get started. Oh, oh man, so it's been like, uh, like almost a week. Well, it has been. It's been a week since we played this uh, last time. Uh, we reached the top of the tower. We got to see the final boss. Um, but because I haven't played it in a while, I just I, I kind of want to have a do a little bit of a backtracking, just a tiny little bit. We're going up there. That's where our final destination is going to be, and we've got an easy uh, run path up to that boss. Um, but there were a few things I wanted to try and see about. Uh, just wanted to look into for our like quests that we still got active. Um, so we've got the graffiti quest and which I'm, I'm not too well right, let's just cancel that one um the stranger will get in touch with you soon so the stranger uh quest um i've so i've had the like a voice notification come up again that that warren's waiting for us at the at the tube at the train station we've been there a few times and there's no been no way around inside um Maybe we'll meet him later. He freed Rex, and he seems all too happy to get out of here. Maybe we'll see him again one day. I haven't seen him again yet. And metamorphosis, find all nano field audio logs. Nano field audio logs have been scattered throughout Gideon's rock, salvage them all to reveal a tragic mystery. Um, what can we do? We can, I think, uh, see. This is all the strange vision stuff. We've heard all this as we've been going up the tower. Eloy's last message. Um. Where are these locks? these I don't know so there's gonna be some scattered around I think it's these uh, the quarantine camps it's not gonna be these uh, but anyway we'll probably have a like a, a quick look back there oh so 16 K scraps uh, we don't need to worry about that so we need to go over there to head back down uh, so let's do that Shouldn't be any enemies around this place. But yeah, we're kind of like, we're in a good position to just uh, do any cleanups that we needed to do. Um, yeah, so hopefully there should only be like, uh, there's only going to be like a few more episodes left of this, uh, this series. scraps there and then we're gonna be done with this uh with this playthrough um so yeah, we're, when we um when we take out the final boss um of this game i think uh, i'm pretty sure it goes straight into new game plus from there so so hopefully i'm gonna be able to put out some Kind of like a, like a final thoughts video on what I've uh, you know, how well I've enjoyed it and just just uh, you know what what I thought about that entire game and there's uh, a lot of things to cover um, with like in game learning what it tells you from the start what things you kind of like need to figure out as you play the game what kind of hidden aspects to the game that um, you might not even come across uh, how the game works because it's a bit more. Um, like as you're playing for it, we haven't had enough uh, as much time to try out different weapons and uh, kind of like try all the different combos for the weapons and get used to those because we've concentrated on the story and getting making sure we're covering, finding any like secret jobs and trying to do side quests and stuff. Um, and I didn't want to make this video like massive, this this series like massively long, but just like a good enough to cover most things. Um, 
I have to find my way, way back. I probably should have gone the shortcut. There's going to be all this that we're going to need to get through. Especially like here, there's like two different... That's a bit of a long swing. Yeah, so we're going to take out this guy. This guy. We got his stamina. I kind of like my time is just completely gone. This is what I need to do. I need to practice on this time and stuff because I am. I haven't played it so long, I'm kind of uh, like a bit out of the timing. We need to get used to that again. So one thing that we did learn recently is that if we hold this button down, we uh, accumulate charges. And then we can pick the battery up. And then we still got that charge whenever we uh, take on some more enemies. Um, let's try going some different ways. So I can't, of like... Like some of the layouts of this game as well, I just like kind of lost on where I like shortcuts and stuff. But there's so many shortcuts in this game that often don't lead uh, that far into the game. Like, I'm pretty sure if I go out here anywhere, that guy's gonna jump out at me. Got some. I kind of need a bit more space. This guy's running up now. Going back. Come on. What are you going to do? going to shoot. Another nano charge. On, right, and we've got all our battery charges back up, so we can keep uh, getting those, uh, getting those charges back like straight away instead of leaving it to kind of like accumulate on its own. Makes things a lot better. So much better. So glad we found that out. Uh, is there another one? There's baby nanites. Keep stepping in that. So with these things, you kind of like don't want to be too afraid to like uh, keep comboing them because they do stagger. Just gonna get something that's unprotected. These guys don't. It's always good to get some air. just cannot remember like where like, I know where to go but just the shortcuts to get to places quicker like this guy got the 
this. That's going to wake up as well. These guys, right, we need to be careful of these guys because these guys can stun. And if they get us like now, these can really be devastating. Oh man, so kind of like a bit of a dodge out of these. The way these guys will probably be do better than trying to. Oh, man. There he goes again, and that. Oh no, wait, get out. Is gonna finish me off. I don't kind of deal with that guy. I've got no. Oh, I've got a battery. Let's heal up. Cause man, that was pretty close. Um. Yeah, let's get this guy down. back up. Oh, there's three more enemies. <laughs> okay. Is that a special enemy as well? Do the double. Take those boys out. Hit there. Get that. Get this. Um, so there's this thing down here as well. We might as well get this audio log. Emergency protocol initiated. Major General Ezra Shields has been assassinated by an unknown rig equipped intruder. Your mission is to retaliate immediately. All engagement limits are suspended, and maximum sanctions are hereby authorized. The perpetrator won't be easy to find. Both rig and neural interface appear to be stolen. There are no traces of this person in our database. This individual was a real pro. Track down and eliminate the target. These orders supersede all other commands. Okay, so that just takes us back up here. Um, yeah. um, okay. So we want to. So we broke through this barrier, I think. Takes us up here. Where does this lead? <laughs> um, okay, so this is going to lead us into nowhere. <laughs> Uh, is that a wall? Okay, is this going to take us back out? Where, is that the original entry point? Oh man. 
Uh, this is a problem with a game like this. If you spend too much time away from it and then you come back, you kind of uh, you know, lose your sense of direction in the game. But yeah, like I was saying before, again, this game has a lot of uh, shortcuts that you unlock. It's just uh, you know, kind of having a good memory of what's uh, what kind of door is going to take you where. Um, so I think I definitely should have gone back to that other shortcut, which takes us straight straight to the underground, which would have been quicker to uh, you know get to the get to the train station. But now we've got to deal with all of this. So we've got two of these guys to deal with. Brilliant. I want to lock onto that one, which is not let me do. Just kind of need to get those. Uh... Can we get a swing? Take him out. Deflecting attacks is so important in this game. Uh, trying to work on that timing and get that timing down is is going to save your life most of the time. We're going this way. Okay, so that's access to back here. Take us at A to command. Go this way. We'll be able to quickly get back to where we wanted to go. Guys, out of it. Yeah, she took a bit longer to to go down. Is there? I'm pretty sure if we go for this guy, I was expecting someone to jump out. But we're all good. I just don't die that easily. Right, this is what's going to drop us back down to the Cloud9 bar.
So if we get to the end of this street, I think I might just, uh, just take a run over here. This is going to take us straight to the underground. Might, just run Might as well just run over here. And three kills. Let's go. Damage is like pretty good. It's nice. It's hard hitting. Uh, okay, so this is the underground. We're just gonna check to see if he's here for this time because I don't want to keep failing all these quests. I don't want to figure out how we complete them. It's kind of just giving me a bit of a warm up as well <clears throat> before we go take on the final boss. Because we are definitely going to have to do uh, another playthrough of this game to try and get all the trophies. I mean, I guess we could just save it at a different point and then remake the decision to um, oh, Why is he not? So there are, there are definitely a few bugs with this game, no doubt. We've had like one major crash on this game already. Um, like this quest seems to be a bit bugged. Oh uh, yeah, so this is, this just isn't working. Um, I don't think there's anything else we really want to work on in this game, so... Alright, let's just go back to final boss area, I guess. Which is... We want to head down to one of those doors. That guy's, that guy's dead again. Um, I can't remember what that drop is, but it's something that we've already got. We don't need to see that guy or interact with him. Big hits. I'm loving that. That's mainly down to the implant that we've got on. Uh, we don't want to go. We want to go over this way. Yeah. Um. Nope. Back down here. And through this door. I got this guy again. Those things are amazing. Um, okay, so we can just take the shortcut through here. This is going to take us back to the to the Great Wall. we go from here we could all right if we go back down it's gonna take oh there's the platform we can we can do it this way we can just go over here go down here Okay, so we're back in the starting area of the 
Great Wall, so we could just uh, take this lift back up to the top. Just going to take us back up to the uh, the med bay where we started. We've gone past it. We've gone past it. Right. So let us see if there's. So we can't have any get any upgrades yet. Um, See something that we can do if we go down. And kind of get this little achievement done <laughs> and out of the way. Yeah, we need to select the web. What is that? Uh icon of the spark. Was this a double Double duty weapon as well. Harold. These are kind of. Um, are these? Yes, these are MK7. Eight. Don't have any tens. Let's uh Okay. I thought that was an there we go. Got that achievement. I go back to our original set. Um so I'm just wondering with my implants, is there anything we can change to kind of uh help with this uh boss fight? We take nano damage, I am not sure. Either way, let's see if we've got any scraps for upgrading. Not enough. Oh, here we do. Get one level out of that. Two modules. I'm going to keep it at 700. We kind of need more stamina. I think everything, anything we get now is just going to be on stamina. Uh, we've got our gear. We've got quite a bit of health. Um, yeah, let's just go. Let's go uh, attack this boss again. I think this was a shortcut, kind of. Was it the shortcut? I'm kind of thinking maybe not now. Oh man, we've got one of these guys. Kind of want to get some injections up for the boss. Just kind of wondering where do we actually go from here? All right, this is the wrong place to be. That's a. Die before I even get there at this point. Um, I 
Oh, I kind of just missed the little stairs there. We can run around, and then we have that. for that time because we're probably gonna um face this boss quite a few times before we actually do it we'll log it this is so These ones where they're out are gonna take ages to like one. Yeah. <sighs> just trying to remember the setup. I was, <laughs> we weren't doing any attacks or anything, we're just trying to get the uh, timings for this boss. Which is kind of like the difference is when he has the weapon in his hand, his attacks are going to be quicker. Especially when he goes into a combo um, from from right to left. Um, they're going to be very much quicker. Especially if it's right to left, it's going to be instant. If it's uh, right to up or down. Or if it's right to up, it's going to be the same time. If it's right to down, it's going to be delayed. When he has a weapon out of his hand, um, the attacks are going to be all the attacks are going to be delayed I'm gonna pick, is this guy is still there let's get a few hits off and just knock it straight off I guess but yeah we can just take the shortcut and go straight around oh, we've got stuff here as well Uh, so yes, when he isn't holding his weapon, they're just like held for about a second and then swung. Um, so yeah, it's just mainly timings, and he does another attack, which is kind of uh, in himself. So these are delayed. that's not delayed. Okay. Uh. 
That damage is amazing. So delayed. Um, sorry, let's uh, try move out of that. Okay, get back. This guy's gonna come to us. You got any blocks off yet? And we've got nothing to heal ourselves with. But it's going to be end game heal. But this guy does take a lot of time in between, uh, like, attack combos, so we can get a few, like, jabs in while he's yeah, in between his combos. Try and help us there. Uh, regain a little bit more healing. Um, yeah, so this this, this uh, guy's mechanics, uh, like how he works, doesn't really seem to be too difficult. You have to get two, uh, four deflections to be able to counter. Um, which again, once the timing's there, this guy's gonna be so easy. Can we like backstab this guy? Oh god, we've got a. Yeah, okay. don't know who it is, but we are getting attacked. Let's just avoid that guy for now. So, like my timing is so bad on this. Can't do that one. seen that happen before. I don't think. That seemed to be pretty new. And that was a lot of damage as well. Just like summoned like a nano bomb to come down and attack me. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if we could just get those. Is that this... So I guess you could do it like other ways as well, just kind of like taking your time to attack, uh, just kind of like running in and out of the fight, uh, which will take a bit longer, but he does have opportunities to do that. 
him, but I'm assuming if you want to do this fight quickly, if you want to... Uh, the best way is probably just going to be to... Uh, kind of defle deflect his attacks and get that counter in, because that counter does a hell of a lot. It does a, a big chunk of damage. And if you can grab a, throw a combo in there as well, you should get take him down a lot quicker. Um, so yeah, I'm just focused on it, on his armor pieces as well, like trying to get his armor pieces down, because I think that might be key to getting some new gear or something. I don't know. I'm just gonna try these techniques out. I could just focus on the arm still. That thing. Like, is it just when you go under it? a hell of a lot of damage. I'm assuming it's gonna be able to repair his his armor because he's taken a lot of damage from that. Man, that's ridiculous. I guess there's going to be another phase to this as well. Oh, these delays. Definitely got time in between that attack. Kind of get another hit off. We're just kind of looking at the next stair. Uh, next opportunity to. Hacks in. There it is. Okay. It can't be. It was 
Was I... Was I wrong all this time? Maybe I truly deserve oblivion. You shall be my judge, warrior. Oh god, that's what we're gonna do now. Uh, no, I'll be your executioner. Or everyone deserves a second chance, even you. Um. Uh, what choice are we gonna take? Right, so we are gonna do a second playthrough, and then by that time, I'm gonna want to finish them off. But everyone deserves a second chance, even you. Perhaps humanity deserves to exist after all. Thank you so much. You never stopped fighting. Never stopped believing. I always knew you'd save me. But now, it's time to look ahead. I can look right into your heart. I know what the reward you desire so much is. Your compassion and love are what make you whole. In the beginning, you were but an empty shell. But now, you've become the person I always knew you could be. You truly belong with the other humans. You are one of them. Deep down, you always have been. Maybe we were asking the wrong question. Being made by humans, machines will never be pure. They will always carry their heritage. By design, they can never be without flaw, but maybe they don't have to be perfect. Maybe all they need is a soul. <laughs> I was really expecting another phase to that fight. Either a two or three, like Delva. Um, Delva had three. Fa when you first fought Delva, it, it, there was three phases to the boss fight. Um, but that final boss was just that one phase. I guess he kind of like uh, grows in power as you like, um, as you do damage to him. Like he, his sword glows in flame, and then he get it's like a nano aura. Uh, when it's close to death, but yeah, um, I, don't, I felt like once you get the timing down for those uh, attacks, it becomes way too easy. Um, you know, we were doing like two thousand six hundred damage on like at one counter attack with the in, uh, implants that we had on, but still, that was he, he his health went down way too fast for that. Um, but yeah, um. Uh, a, a great game overall really good a few bugs in there kind of um you know we failed some of the quests we missed completing some of the quests uh there's no real there's not a, a good sense of direction for those um but yeah um yeah we crashed the game crashed uh, on us twice uh another time we went like out of the uh, we went through the floor. Um, but yeah, a lot of fun was had in this game. Loads of different weapons, potentially loads of different uh, builds we can... Um, yeah, in, in the game that we can uh, constru construct uh, using different combinations of uh, implants and stuff. Oh, but yeah, that felt good. Just finishing that off. That was nice. Um, yeah, so I think So we can skip this do you want to watch the whole thing? <coughs> I can't imagine anything Let's just skip this Overall, here we go Playtime 33 minutes Average just 38 death 131 <laughs> Okay damage taken 
Attack drops gained. Limbs cut. Was fired. Um, oh god, it's going like a bit too fast. Oh, Port Nixon is where I died the most. Actually, I think it might have been. <coughs> um, I don't even know. There were a few places where we died a lot. We died a lot at the start, just uh, after the prison. We died a lot in Port Nixon, and we died a lot in Gideon's Rock. Um. But yeah, all all around, I think. I like that, these little uh, these little stats uh, sort of died. My death was 4, that average was 3.5. Uh, but yeah, most of those we were, we were under. Let's see what happens here. Congratulations on beating the game, but wait, there's more. Select continue and then select your last save game now marked with New Game Plus, to start a new journey. With new challenges and surprises, you will keep all your gear, weapons, and character progress. Okay, so that's marked with New Game Plus, so we can't go back to there from uh, the last saves that automatically overwrites. Um, I imagine there is a way to do this instead of uh, playing through the game again if you were trying to get all your trophies where you can. Um, on the last save, uh, back up all your saves to the cloud and then switch off uh, auto um, uploading, uh, do this and then you know, re-download your save file, overwrite it and then you'll have that save back. Um, that's I, I can only assume that's going to work for this game. Um, but yeah, I'm 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 planning on doing a few more playthroughs of this game anyway, so having that there is is fine for me. Um, right, so I think that's going to bring us to the end of this episode and the end of uh, this this series as a whole. Um, end of this uh, playthrough series anyway. Um, yeah, so like I said, after this, uh, it's been been a brilliant experience. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, if you've watched any of these videos. Uh, like, if you've liked any of the commentary or you know wanted to join in any discussion at all please feel free by any means to comment in any of these videos and I will try and respond to them as uh, quickly and as best as I can um but yeah that, that game felt good it felt really good you know the the last boss was a little bit of a letdown in terms of like difficulty I felt like it could have been a bit harder we could have had it like a, another phase or two phases um that kind of went pretty quick but yeah Overall, like, really good game. Um, so in closing this, uh, hopefully we'll get a final thoughts video up of this game. And there will be a New Game Plus playthrough. That will be without commentary. Uh, that will just be, be me playing through the game. Um, hopefully as fast as I can get through it. It won't be as long as this. And... Yeah, and DLCs, of course. There's going to be some more DLCs, so we'll... Uh, We'll talk through those. We'll, um, you know, have our usual let's play through the D DLC stuff. Um, we'll probably start a new like game save through, or maybe see if we can like carry on with another uh, save file. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, guys. If you liked any of this content, please click the like and subscribe buttons at the bottom of the video. Hopefully, I will see you again in the next video. Uh, the next series we're starting off is uh, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. If you, you know, if you're not a fan of the Star Wars uh, franchise, then that's okay too. The gameplay in this seems to be uh, a bit of an upgrade from the previous ones. It seems to follow along the same kind of time. Like it kind of like for me, the gameplay feels a bit like a uh, God of War. That whole kind of single player personal experience, a load of story. Um, 
you know, uh, quite a bit of, uh, like, action-based combat. Um, kind of, you know, it's taken on some aspects of not so much Dark Souls, but more like Sekiro. The whole, like, uh, taking down guard and stuff. And, uh, but yeah, all, like, the, the the new wave of, like, combat mechanics are in that game. So it's, uh, it's really good. And, yeah, uh, check that out if you're interested. Um, yeah, once again, hopefully you guys see you guys again soon in another video. Take care, guys.